Uh, hey, what's up everybody? My name is Karana and welcome back to my channel again. My channel name is Exam Tripoli. Hope everyone is fit, fine and take care of themselves. So guys, in this video, we'll be trying to explain you that how you can fill JE application. Also, in this channel, we'll be trying to cover all the important ex entrance examination regarding engineering like JE mains. Also, you could be explaining the, in the detail like what DASA is and how you can get top colleges applying to the DASA quota. The first thing the second thing is also we'll be explaining how you have to fill application for all the call interest examination like je manipal vat comet can all these things as well so if you are not subscribed our channel yet you can subscribe so we'll be getting all the notification regarding the same so at your left i will try to show each and everything also we had kept individual sessions for the kids who are willing to join our mentorship program and we kept very normal charges for that also so at the left, I will try to show each and everything. Let's get started, guys. So now, as you can see in here, this is the application form. Once you'll be visiting the website, okay. So you'll be finding this application form, right? So the basically first, what you have to do, you have to put your details here, right? As you can see in here, this is the second part, okay? This is the second phase of it. So firstly, this is the first part. So it will be a very easy application form. You don't have to worry. Just follow the stepwise process and don't do, don't make any kind of mistakes. I will suggest. Okay. So if you go a little bit down, now you can see in here, you have to put the caption. And when you put, once you put the caption, you can put click on the new registration. Okay. Once you'll be clicking on the new registration then you will be finding that this page so there are three steps first the registration second is the application and third is a payment okay so you there should be a tick this kind of tick on all these payment at the end of the application form once you are completing this application form so it will be showing this kind of tick done 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 or it will be mentioning done done and done okay now so these are the de details that they had mentioned very clearly that what will be the charges if you're outside india this will be the charges if you're applying from india this will be the charges okay so you can go through it so let's go a little bit more now. so so you can click i have downloaded or i have read all the details you can click here and you can click to proceed so we'll be landing to this page okay so as you can see this page once you'll be landing this page you you have to fill all the details that's clearly mentioned that you have to fill all your details as per your 10th mark sheet so you all must be having your 10th mark sheet so what i will suggest take mark sheet with you mark sheet okay and put it in front of you and then fill this application form basic details father's name student's name mother's name okay now personal detail you, if you have to fill current address so now you can see you have to fill the current address so in the current address wherever you are studying you have to fill that current address in the pin code you can put one two three four because in UAE, there is no as such pin code. So if there is any pin code at your place, you can put it. Otherwise, you can put four zeros here. Here, You can take the country whatever, from wherever country you are given. In the, this is present address you have to fill. If, in the present address, don't fill your permanent address. In case if you are filling, your center will be that particular place. So I will don't get into that confusion in the present address fill your present address wherever you are studying okay pin code i told you now get a little bit down okay so now in here you can put your indian phone number And why I'm telling you Indian cell number, the major reason behind that, so you can easily get the code. So once we'll be submitting that code, because that mobile number will be the primary contact. Okay. 
so in case if you don't have indian number you can get one indian number and i will suggest kindly make that number work because all that happening all the details will be happening or all the communication will be happening on that particular cell number first thing and a working mail address okay this is mandatory don't forget these two things one is working phone number and the mail address which you or your parents are using just below you can use your permanent address afterwards you can uh, make the password and you can submit it okay so once you are done with the submission then what will be happening you will be receiving you a uh, you'll be receiving uh, a application form number okay so once you'll be receiving the application number what you have to do you have to put that then you have to submit that particular document and after submission you have will be coming here okay application number you have to put password you have to put and capture you have to put and you have to go the sign in so once you'll be signing in i'll show you then you can see here right okay then you'll be uh, opening like this page and you have to put your details in here okay as you can see in here you have to put your basic details and if you want to edit anything you can click on edit otherwise you can submit and send otp okay once you're done with that then you have to put your details here again okay so in here you can see otp will be sent, did not otp will be sent on your given number okay so that's why I'm, i was telling you guys that use indian number it will be easy to get the otps like instead of using you know uh, any other country number it will be a little bit tough uh, because last year there are some of the parents who are facing issues so that's why i'm suggesting use indian number that will be convenient okay let's get a little bit down okay so once all these things are done as you can see in here it's you can see as earlier we discussed there will be three things right one is registration form one is application and one is free payment okay so now from our end registration is done so it will be showing complete and you will be receiving an application form number once you receive the application form number you can click on the complete application form and you can start filling the application form so in the application form you will be finding all these details okay i'll try to show you in there you'll be finding contact details personal details identify details exam center details and qualification details so these are all the details you have to fill and when, whatever you are whenever you will be submitting it will be showing like completed 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 like that and you'll be knowing that all the details which you had filled whether it's submitted or not okay so once we'll be coming down so as you can see in here the personal details the basic details whatever they're asking you can submit all these details in there after that so these are the very basic detail which they are asking i will suggest like whenever you will be you know filling this application form fill it at once instead of you know filling it like uh, five minutes a uh, half of the application now half of the application sec uh, uh, for the next time and keep saving it so once you'll be submitting save the file so what will be happening it will be saved for the next time in case suppose there's any work or something you get stuck and you want to fill it later you can you can fill it later okay so exam and center details so you have to should be very careful regarding this exam and center details so in here you can see that they are asking that so as i was telling you earlier guys 
that if you are not filling what your current address if you had not filled this current address currently wherever you are assigning so you will be not getting the option in here right only you will be getting the option in here for choosing the center outside India if you had chosen current center outside you have to put the current uh, address of wherever you are residing right so in here you can choose so they are asking for your exam center so the first choice second choice third choice fourth choice so suppose for an example I'm telling you suppose you are residing in UAE so the first choice you can choose wherever Emirates you are residing AUH second is Dubai and SRH okay so these are the three centers which you can choose and the rest of the details you can go through it so it will be very easy application form if you go a little bit down the another confusion is among the students that at the 12th in the qualification section in the qualification section the major uh, question among the students is like what they have to fill for the 12th grade So you have to some the kids who had already done their 12th grade or who are taking one year gap so they it's mandatory to fill submit their 12th grade certificates i will try to say download all documents from digilocker okay and then upload it that will be more easy okay the in here you can see these are the very basic details that you have to fill in here you can see this is a line 12th or equivalent so no issues in that if you are 12th pass you can select 12th pass otherwise you can select for the equivalent so very basic then address details you can put the address detail then afterwards you can see here emergency contact number i will suggest like give all those number which are working okay and come a little bit more down if you see then you have to upload the documents okay document upload so this is the before submission this is the last place okay i will suggest click a photo without glasses So without glasses you can click a photo and you can upload it signature remember this so don't be try to cool because it's a very serious application form whatever signature you are doing i would suggest remember that particular signature because that will be required whenever you'll be going to the uh, center exam center okay and these are the other details okay and size and each and everything is mentioned in there in case if you're facing any issue compress that file you can compress it online okay let's come a little bit more now and submit this so once you'll be submitting all these documents it will be clearly showing in here okay yes each and everything then there's a fee payment and you can process with the fee permit so this will, this will be a very easy and hassle-free application filling form still if you have any queries you can let us know we will be definitely helping you out and also if you want to join the individual mentorship that also you can join that's all from my side guys my name is Karan stay tuned stay safe stay blessed don't get panic fill this application form at one go and i would suggest ask your parents to sit with you because some of the kids who are residing here or they born in here they must not be knowing like what their permanent address i would suggest don't make any kind of error while filling the application form use your working numbers and working mail address and as always god bless you all